Hello boys and girls and thanks a lot to Panlord who has given me this uh, game on Steam Machinarium a puzzle adventure game I have played it for about 15 minutes before but I'll start a new It has nice, nice um, mechanical sound. The sound design is really interesting in this. So this looks like some sort of some flying machine just dumped a bit of stuff on on the scrapyard. Uh, Ferko says this is a pretty cute looking game. I must say I, I'm not friends with the design. This game is I'm like the, the art design here is not my cup of tea. But um, I have uh, having played it for a little bit, I um, I like I like the puzzles and I like how the game works. So it took me about five minutes to figure out what to do here. Because, you know, in adventure games you usually, in the old days of Monkey Island and Indiana Jones and stuff, these LucasArts or Westwood adventure games, you, you could tell the items which you can interact with. They were slightly different from the normal background picture. And so are these here. I think we can interact with this spindle with this head this puppet maybe the magnet and this pole seems well anyway I, I figured I can click on this head but I didn't know what to do else I can click on this puppet nothing happens this happens this thing just ignores me I was clicking around and I didn't know and um, so, uh, so I just didn't know. I, I, I tried to click this at different times, whether it has an influence on the movement of the animal. I didn't know. But eventually I figured, once I started clicking everything and systematically clicking all over the screen, that I can somehow remove this uh, this bathtub and that looks like the body of of a of a robot um, which i have seen from trailers of this game yeah so it conveniently jumped close to us so i guess now we can move the head on it and it says you can click and interact only with objects and characters which are within the reach of the robot and here roughly indicating the reach of the robot all right so let's interact with this guy okay we, we tell him we are missing a foot or leg and hand and it says yeah mouse <laughs> at any time you can grab the robot by the head and extend or shrink his body by dragging up or down yeah so I first didn't understand what this mouse means. Like, did, did the thing say, okay, uh, just get get the leg and hand of the mouse for yourself? But it actually tells us that it, it wants this mouse. So we have now collected, and this is how we collect items. We like eat it and store it inside us. So we can collect some items for later use. So now that we have the mouse, we can wait until the animal comes out and give it to him and there is one hint in each level we don't really need the hint so it give it has given us a leg so we now have both legs and we now can walk this is a nice walking symbol animated symbol so i think the magnet looks interesting let's let's grab the magnet Yeah, 
Yeah. And and this this rope looks interesting or thread. Sometimes you can combine two items in the inventory. Yeah, it's obvious, right? So we can have this. And I guess since we have a magnetic body, I expect that we can fish out our hand from this pond. So let's let's try it somehow. But it's not easy, but maybe we can use what was it? Ah yes, this we can we can move it and now we can probably hang it around hang the magnet around this. And I guess we'll be able to fish out a hand. Yeah. Very convenient. And I like that this game gets rid of items which you have successfully used. So they don't, they don't clutter in your inventory, you don't need to pay attention to them. In the old adventure games I remember that um, as you progressed your inventory was quite inventory was quite bloated with all sorts of old items you dragged around you and you tried whether you can use them here or there but you never really needed them except for the one time where you used them so now we are heading towards a city or a castle it seems, I don't know. And there's a robot behind us. I don't know whether he's good or evil. He's evil, he pushed us to the side. And this military walk march he's got a he's got a saber or something and there he yeah i noticed only now that he jumped over this puddle so we are what to do here i guess we could we could try it as well Yeah, it says no such robots. So the idea of course here is that we must look kind of like the robot before us. So here is something we can we can use as a fake cap. And I'll play this through for you just just the way I, I, I tried yesterday. No, don't eat it. Put it on. So now we look more more like the robot, but he still doesn't want to let us through. He still recognizes us. Well, pity, isn't it? Then we, I, we can just throw these cones away. There's a bucket of blue color. And there is some white stuff, so it's pretty obvious. We put it in here. We have this and color this light blue. So now we look much more like the robot before. But he still won't let us. Yeah, what we're missing is this blinking bulb. But it's pretty obvious where we can get it. We can get it in from this lamp. So let's try it somehow. Yeah, we can't climb any further. But there are holes in here, so 
I was looking for a stick, but I noticed that these sticks are kind of loose here, these lower two. So you can get this one, put it here. It's an old adventure game trick. Climb up and so on. A sim very similar trick was in Monkey Island too. I don't know whether we have already got past it. Yay! Okay, we have fallen and, and we can... Ah, you see, this is, this is how you... You can only combine things when, when they are inside you. So we first need to eat this hat. Now we can combine them. Now we can put on the hat. And since we are a robot, we provide electrical current and power magically and we can now hopefully he will let us through now so that's as far as I have played I haven't found out what these swallows are here it's whether they are just for decoration just distraction but notice how we don't jump over this yeah and we are we're down here so now I now I really don't know what to do <laughs> this is all new for me so we see some not really tentacles but some hair yeah but I think this is just decoration Robots are not allowed in here. Red light. It looks like when I pull the lever something will come out of the tunnel and the door will open and let it inside. I oh, look at this. This is movable. Why would that be movable? it can maybe it can be maybe it can be attached to this thing yeah so we can we can pull the lever from down here let's try it ah yes that's better what is this thing this red white thing I don't know. Uh, there's something like a spatula. can also be smaller I don't know whether that is of any use here Ah, 
Ah, it seems that this... Why is this moving when the wagon comes? Quickly, quickly. Oh. It looks like there is a horn here. Which the horn is not really doing anything. Uh, we can't walk on the on the rails. There's not many places we can go here. I need a hint, I guess. Yeah, all right. But how do you do that? I think I'm missing something very simple and very obvious. Would you like a hint, you ask? Well, yes, I would, because <laughs> I don't see me, I don't see myself solving this. Uh, I. I thought we could somehow walk up the, the rails and then pull this or something. But it just doesn't doesn't work like that. Ah here. I can see this. I need it to Ah alright, alright, so here. I don't think I need the hint anymore. Now I have something to play with. What is this red button? <gasps> Ooh. Ah, easy. So we must. So this is C4. Why is this C4? Let's put it to A1. A1, B. What is A2? A3 Uh-huh A4 about A5 well, How is B1 Oh there okay B2, B3, it's systematic. B4, B5, C1, uh, 
that's not so much of interest, I think. C5, okay. D1 over there. D5 over there. How about E? Ooh, too far up. I was hoping that E could be one of these two. Yeah. Okay, so closest we can get is A5. And I guess when we now we can grab this, right? Can't we grab this? Just hang on to it. Why can't I grab that? That's how I'm feeling. Maybe because e A5 is too far behind me, maybe I should try A3 instead. Or even A2, but I think A3 will be good. Oh, Bender says it to A5 is too far in the background. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe this is also too far behind. Maybe let's try A2 instead. Yeah, Chris says he loves the soundtrack of this game. Yeah, I like I like the sound design. I like like the the ambient music and the sound design here, and it's, it's very nice. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> By Thomas Dvorak, <laughs> I wonder if there is any relation. <laughs> Who knows? There are so many Dvoraks. <laughs> it's like a it's a very common name, it's like Hoffman or in German. All right, so now that we have the like a spade or whatever it is. Ah, yeah, yeah, we can. Oh, that's not a spade, it's like a. Stopping block. Question is where to put it either this rail or this rail okay let's try it oops oh look at this can we use this <laughs> oh lovely Oops, who is that? He's eating it. I don't know whether that was a hint or whether that was just saying this this guy is a bad guy don't come close to him but we will find out uh, 
Uh, looks like there's a list. It's some sort of chemical reactor. Two wires wired here with arrows left and right and upside down, up and down. There's seems to be like something like a key hanging here. Let's grab that first. There's a red button or red something blinking here. Ah, look at this. Oops. Ah, so this one can put things from here into the oven. What does this do? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, wait a moment, so this does one release, what if I do this? Maybe we'll find later more, I don't want it anymore, stop it. What's oh yeah, the red one, the red button just opens this. There seems to be a fork in this wire. Ooh, look at this. A new one. This one says put a robot in this, grab the robot. what surely ah oh, we should we should we can pull ourselves up here onto this Uh-huh. Uh-huh, let's 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 try this. Have no idea what happens. Look at this. Ah, that's currently, I know it's it's showing which move it is currently doing, so this, this thing can do three moves and I, I told make three these moves. So I can make, make one move like this, second move like this and third move like, I don't know, whatever, this. Whoa! Ah! 
Ah. Yeah, and now Oh I thought we could somehow wiggle waggle and swing Okay, so I don't want to I don't want to be dropped on to into that oven. I think that would be a bad idea. Every time it goes around it drops things into the oven. But how about this? What if, what if the key is to duck inside the the the, the car, the minecart? Or rise? Uh, it doesn't want. Oh no. Um, there is something, I mean, this, this key must certainly do something. What can it do? I think it's, it's to be used in here. Because this looks like a square thing and this looks like a... square key yes yeah, so we can't really use that until we are up there but this clearly shows that this should be able to extend wait a moment wait a moment wait a moment we maybe we can What if we do this? <laughs> ah, but look, look when it when it does this round. 
there is a short moment where, where it where it swings to the left now you see Wait, why did it... Okay... No, this is not looking good. Yeah, we need this. We need this combination. First it will come around, we will have time to get into the minecart. Then it will grab us. Pull us up. And then it will try to go around for another time. And we will end up there. Let's see. We'll go around, we will have time to get into the minecart. Now it will pull us up and we will jump right now. And don't let us fall into there. Yeah, this could work, this could work. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yep. All right, now use this. So what? What happens now? Is the door locked here or what? Yeah, I guess if the door is locked, let's see what happens. Is the oven door locked? No, it's not locked. I have no idea what is this. This. this is no hint, is it? Just a mini game or something. <sighs> yeah, well, let's see what happens now. If we get another minecart. He doesn't want it. Did you do something to the wires? Maybe something happened to the lever that's underneath i didn't manipulate the wires we just we just uh well we manipulated this thing but this lever below just does what it did before What happens if we order another minecart? And don't put the stuff into the oven. Let's 
have something like this. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to drop it. Oh. Shame. I thought it would release the rocks and somehow they would spread here, but... What if I close this? Doesn't want. What if I just walk out through the door? Doesn't want. out here again What's with these arrows? Well, they don't... Look at that. Yeah. So the key only opened the lid on this one. Yeah. What if you rewire it? We rewire the blue one first. See what happens. Ooh, it goes another way around. Well, but this is exactly what we need, isn't it? So, if we will... We will have time. First time it goes around, we will have time to get into the minecart. Second time it will pick us up. So now we get in the minecart. This thing will pick us up. It will go around and we will jump off right here. I think we can try it.
But I'm too curious. I would like to see what happens if the red one is wired, cross-wired. But I'm not that curious. Nope, 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 nope. Oh no 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 no! Ooh. Why didn't it work? Did I miss something? Why couldn't I s jump off here? Ah, there we go. us oh that robot over here is an overseer they won't do anything bad as long as the blue robot is in here I see this somehow reminds me of, of this oh look at this of of the Star Wars scene where, where 3PO and R2D2 are tortured by those robots in in the garbage truck. It's like a prison for robots. He wants to smoke. What's in here? <laughs> Yummy. What's this? Ah, we can roll him a cigarette. It's wet, probably. It just doesn't want... It doesn't want a wet smoke. How about this mouse hole? Yeah. Hello. Hello, notice me, notice me. What if I just give them something? What if I just give them this? No? What if I give them this? Huh. Looks like something's written in here. Or some graffiti here. What's this? He's got something inside his body. Ah, look at this. <gasps> Ooh! That's what we will give them. I think. Yeah, do give it them. Yeah. Huh. Oh, 
what did the robot do when he sat on the toilet? I don't know, he just probably shed something out or released some oil or whatever. Uh, uh, he did uh, uh. but it's something inside now oh it actually sounds like a cigarette he says cigarette a cigarette Why aren't they reacting? Oh look, there is this thing here. Oh, come on. have a hint yes we do have a hint let's let's take a hint well that's not much of a hint yeah I need we need this dry weed and and but how to dry it I have no idea how to dry it Bender says beat the guy with the iron and use his body to construct a device to kill the two bad guys. <laughs> That's what I do, game solved in one minute. Bender, this is a game for children. It's all PG-3. So what now? They have this, we, we don't have this. I don't know what is it called, this thing. Are you sure there is nothing hot in ourselves? Well, yeah, the bulb seems kind of hot. It's a good, a good hint. Thank you, Mr. K. Oh, yes, of course. Excellent. Now, how to light it? Maybe we should light it. We should light it the same way we, we dried the grass. Light it. Oh, he lit it by a spark. <laughs> we got your hand now. We're coming close to what Bender said. <laughs> but we are first disassembling the robot we are having here in our cell and then we'll get on to those two other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so 
So what now? Ah, we can either go this hole or this hole. Which hole to take? This hole. <gasps> oh, look at this! There's this mouse! Ooh, this is interesting. <laughs> Take it. Nope. Yep, that's it. That's it. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. But what if I wanted to shoo out, shoo the mouse out of its hideout with this broom? Ah, look at this. <laughs> and out we go. Yeah, this might be tricky. I don't know what to do here. Whether we can loosen it here. Uh, I guess we can't go that way. Wait a moment, there is somebody up there. Now this is not nice. I like the small details, <coughs> like <coughs> the fact that the mouse has its its own little light bulb in the mouse hole. We don't see it now, but we saw it before. What are we supposed to do? Jump up. Ah, wait. Wait, maybe maybe if we just pull ourselves up, it will... No, we can't. I thought we could just push through this. Ah. Why are they so afraid? Let's find out what's up here. It sounds evil, like an evil laugh. Ooh. No! No! That's the guard. If he sees us there, he shoots us with a nut. He's got like a target here, shooting little lead balls, bullets. Some monitors here. I think we could. Does he reload every time? Yeah. He's aiming for quite some time. 
Oh, he has a key. He would see us. Okay, we must we must get the key when he is not looking. When he is aiming, I guess. Like now. No, 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 no. Go on, go on. But we can topple his chair, right? We can push his chair. No. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it a couple more times. Sometimes at some point he will lose the, 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 the key. Oh, he shot into the the ceiling come on lose the key And he he's not cleaning his gun now. Wait a moment, what does he do? Why is he no, no, no longer cleaning his gun? Before that, he was cleaning his gun after every shot. Maybe, maybe there's something. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, look at this. We must use the moment when he is... When he is off the chair and, and grab the bullets. No, 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 no. Yep. Hey, <laughs> hey, gotcha. Key, 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 key. Oh, he's picking up. <laughs> yeah. I think this is it. Now the key is for what? We could use the key for this one? No. How about this one? Maybe we'll give it to the smoking guy. Maybe he will have an idea. Come on. No? Uh. Where to use the key? Wait a moment, I have key and bullets. Well, how to use the bullets? Uh, really? What you gonna do? I have no idea. Oh, the key is for the, the these are keyholes. 
All right. We have probably unlocked our cells. What if you unlock only one? Only this one. Stand up. Now what if we only unlock the left one? put the bullets somewhere
Can't we put the bullets on the floor so he can like slide on them, fall over or break a neck or something? And I wonder why why the why the robot with the cigarette doesn't come out. And it's kind of late. I think I'll go to bed. We'll save this. Interesting little game. We'll continue. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow I hope to play Dwarf Fortress again. Solving the problem with the hungry animals. But sometime later. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it a little bit. Good night.